Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me some. 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 Diamonds in my grill, you see me shine. 24s on that cayenne when we ride. Now show me some. Show me some. Show me some. Show me some. Yeah. Yeah, just know I've been poppin' since Dr. J's a chronic Love all my hoes excited, the back shot since she riding Ay, I go for that gusto, losing ain't an option Check a bag and make deposits and deposits and deposits Ay, you see me shining, just know I've been grinding J's is too exclusive, one-on-one, -on -one, you'll never find it I love this LA weather, cars start up with buttons You think you cannot flex me, you gon' have to Hey, hey, show me some Show me some Show me some Show me some Show me some. Show me. Hey, show me some. Show me. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is kind of show you how I was able to do that uh, mocap thing like I talked about previously. Now, first off, big thanks to the NVIDIA crew on Discord and Relusion support because I actually needed some help because this is like, what, my second hour in Omniverse, so I'm still trying to learn a lot of things in there, but I'm pretty happy as far as pro progression goes on what I was able to do in such a short amount of time. And we'll talk about that a little bit more. So I'm going to show you how I was able to do this because, A, I want to see if people have a better method on doing this, okay? Because this is kind of like a Frankenstein way of doing it right now. So what I'm going to do is open that XSense data right here that I exported from MVN Pro. And I'm just going to go, you know, everything by default here. All right, so we got the character in here, uh, the actual mocap. I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to go right here and I'm going to convert this to a non-standard. I'm going to continue this. Uh, basically, what we have to do now is choose all the bones. Click on this and then click on the leg for all of this until this turns green. And then this is going to turn green and then you're going to apply it. But I already saved one, so I don't have to redo this over again. So I can just... You do it once and you pretty much... You can reload the same one as long as it's the same suit. So I have it right here. Pretty much everything chosen. This is green right here. And I'm just going to convert this. I'm going to apply. I mean, it only took maybe like 10 minutes to do all that. And then you can save it as a... You know, you can save it and then load it just similar to how I showed you how to do it. So I'm going to double click this animation now. You're going to see that the dance animation is here now. I'm going to pause this. Because what we're going to do now is actually open up iClone. And what we're going to do is apply this to the iClone character, okay? So first things first, I'm going to open a character creator. And I actually bought the new purchase right here, the Hyper Female. So I'm going to open this up. And I'm not going to customize anything here. I'm just going to show you how this is done. All right, so we have that here. And I'm going to... I mean, if, let's go ahead and put a helmet on her as well. And this is what's exciting, because right now, you know... This material, I don't think is compatible with Omniverse, but maybe in the future it will be. So you can see right here in my video, the helmet glass pane or window didn't really work. I'm going to go ahead and export this to iClone. So I'm going to go to character to iClone. And I know there's a lot of round tripping right now, but it's really, it works, you know, for, for now at least, to get the motion capture in Omniverse. Okay, so we have the character in here now go all the way to the left and now if we go to 3d exchange i'm going to apply this to iclone and what this is going to do is it's going to transfer that motion to here so you can see right here miko to second to last and over press play you're going to see that the animation is now there now i made a video about this earlier and i'm going to control alt sometimes when your mocap the arms you can kind of see it going through her body right here and now the best way i was able to do this was i was looking around relusions tutorials um big thanks again to relusion for how having all those tutorials um you can actually i tried post offset uh somebody from relusion kind of told me about post offset but it doesn't work because you're going to see we actually have to save this as a as a new motion file so to do this i was able to do if i go to uh edit motion layer and I'm going to choose the right shoulders and mirror that. And I'm going to press E because I'm going actually going to rotate it. Okay. And I'm going to rotate this up. Just like this. Okay. And I'm going to close this. 
what that's going to do, and I'm going to go ahead and zoom out of here, is actually offset the arm so that it's not touching anymore. Now, obviously, I did it too much, but I just exaggerated it. And what's cool about this is you can use iClone's animation tools. Like for me to do that in Unreal, <laughs> I would have to use the control rig, which is really iffy at the moment. But you can legit edit this and clean the motion up in here and then send it to Omniverse. And I think... That's why this is powerful right here. Okay, so once you're happy with your cleanup or whatever, you know, for our case, you know, so you can see right there, she's not hitting, she's not hitting her own body anymore. And I'm going to go ahead and, and then what I'm going to do is actually increase this to 11, 6,000. I think that's how much the mo the mocap is. So I'm going to scroll up. See right here, it's, she's not hitting anymore. And like I said, I exaggerated that fix. So if you really want to fix that, you can use the motion layer as well to fix that. But once you're done cleaning up, all you have to do is this collect clip. Highlight this collect clip right here. And what you're going to do next is actually save this in a motion library right here. So I'm going to go to OmniDance and I'm going to go Tutorial. Save it as Relusion Motion. I'm going to save this. And that's actually going to take that motion editing or that edited cleanup version of yours and it's going to convert it into an iClone motion, which is what you want since Omniverse can't import animation directly because there's no retargeter in Omniverse yet. So now we're going to go back to the Character Creator 3. And what you're going to do here is you're going to export and let's go ahead and get rid of the lights I'm gonna delete these here and, and I'm going to go export this export USD Omniverse I'm gonna change this to tutorial path traced or real time depending on what you want we'll do real time for now in 496 and this is I'm gonna check includes IBL this is where you load that motion okay and then what we'll do is export. We're going to create a new folder here. Tutorial. And I'm just enter, enter. Tuts. 1, 2, 12. Now this is going to export that, this character, with this animation to a .usd file. So while that's going, let's go ahead and check out create. Now 2021 3.3 is the most recent version as of today. So let's open that up. Okay, so we have this. I'm going to go ahead and go like that. And I'm going to go to my local host. We're just going to load up a project here. Let's go to assets, I think. Um, actually, no. Let's go to NVIDIA, samples, marbles. And I'm going to open this. Open original file. And again, this is why I think Omniverse is insane. Because you can get some pretty photorealistic image out of this renderer here it's bananas and i can only imagine like once we start getting more assets to put in here man it's gonna be awesome so i'm gonna go to omni dance and we're gonna look for that tutorial and we're gonna drag and drop that tut right here that's gonna drop her in there obviously she's too big i'm gonna press e or r sorry and i'm just gonna scale her down okay the end time right here is zero so i have to change that if i go to layer now they changed this. I have to go right here. Show sessions layer if that's not checked off. Go ahead and go to that one as well. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to change this to 60. So they move that. Okay, it's just loading for a second. Okay, there you go. It's now 60. And then what I'm going to do here is actually change to end time as well. And we're going to do 11,600. And now if I press play, now she's animating. She's facing the wrong way, so I'm going to rotate her like so. Whoopsies. Sorry. Okay, and then I press play. And Mickey did really good at this dance, which I'm going to be rendering in Unreal as well, but I really just wanted to get this in here. Because this is like 
I am slowly testing Omniverse. Little at a time. Now, a couple of things that I am trying to learn, I don't know if it's in here. I need to be able to animate the camera's focus for the depth of field. I gotta find out how to do that. And additionally, as you can tell, the materials aren't compatible 100%. Okay, so to kind of show that. And I'm hoping one day they will kind of figure out the whole material thing. Because, like I showed you in our previous video, the difference between this character and the native USD character is quite big. Granted, this character is like $17 or something. So, don't expect too much, but... So you can see right here, you know, it doesn't look as good as everything else in the background. And really, that is just because of the materials and the way the character is made. But yeah, so last thing before I go, the this rendered 36 seconds per frame with 64 samples on reflections. I mean... This is, and this supports multi-GPU, right? So I know it's pretty much in a baby stage right now, but the renderer is insane. 36 seconds per frame. That's crazy. And it can render photo real, and it can support multi-GPU. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That is how I was able to input XSense and Manus data in Omniverse using Relusion iClone and Character Creator 3. Now, like I said, what I want to see, hopefully, is Omniverse's own FBX importer, so I don't have to round trip, and I can use, let me just show you, their own character. Let me see if I can put Solette right here. I want to be able to input the FBX to the character here, okay? And we're gonna scale this down as well. And I tried doing this round tripping into Unreal to Blender, but the materials weren't carrying over. But at the end of the day, this quality right here is the future. <laughs> Look at that. And whenever maybe Relusion kind of will have compatibility with the MDLs or the materials so they can look like this with this suit you know so yep that's pretty much it if y'all have any questions let me know and if you have any tips for me since really this is my second hour in Omniverse here um just uh leave me a comment below and again thank you for Relusion and NVIDIA for helping me out trying to figure things out in here